physics is real. So let me show you what I really mean. Here I have tubes of different radii. This is the widest and this is the thinnest. I'm going to pour some colored water in this trough. Note the level of water in each tube. What do you see? The water rises most in thinnest tube and it rises least in the widest tube. We can make sense of this based upon energetic considerations. Remember, the reason the fluid rises is because the adhesive energy between the glass and liquid is higher than the cohesive energy between the water molecules. However, there is an energy cost for raising the fluid to a certain height. Note that the gain in the energy due to adhesive forces is only for the molecules that are in contact with the surface, whereas the energy cost associated with raising the molecules to a certain height is for the whole volume of liquid column. Therefore, the balance between energy gain due to wetting and the energy cost due to raising the liquid determines the equilibrium height of the column. It is clear that since very little liquid is in the bulk in the thin tube, which is not in contact with the surface, the energy cost for raising the liquid in this case is relatively smaller than the wider tube when compared to the gain due to wetting the glass.